today's topic is social media content. Content. All right. Yeah. All right. I think we're good to go. So, like, okay. So, I'm I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay. So, um, um, I get asked all the time to do. The social media content, um, Instagram live chats, and I originally wanted to do it with another social media influencer. And like, it's like it's it's, it's not that I that I don't know any or, or that I don't work with any. Um, but a lot of the social media influencers uh, that I that I work with are not like really actively pursuing getting signed to agencies or, or don't really care one way or the other whether agencies like them or not because they know that if they get popular enough that agents will be knocking on their door just off the fact that, that they can make money from them and you know like and the whole thing so um so I think this is this is more so going to be geared towards um like people who are just trying to build the social media content who really don't even have much of a grasp on like where they should even be looking for, or like the the psychology behind why they should be posting certain things, and um, it's also one of those things where it's a person by person basis as well, right? So like everybody has something different to offer. So what one model has to offer, or what what one brand, or what one girl or guy or whatever, like um, whatever you have to offer, it's generally something that's pretty specific to you. Um. And, and you kind of just need to figure out what, what your thing is. And then once you figure out what your thing is, then it's gonna be much easier for you to, um, to, make, to make wise and like comprehensive decisions on like what kind of content should I post? What should that, the, the quality of my content be? If it's content that I can shoot on my own, like can I just shoot it by myself or can I have like a friend or found well a friend probably usually or like your boyfriend or your girlfriend or, or whoever you know like can it just be somebody just just random shooting my content for me or um or should it be photographers and like do I even do I even have an appeal that a lot of um, photographers who shoot certain kinds of content would be even interested in in the first place. So these are all uh, conversations that you have to have with yourself, but also when you're building your own brand, like there needs to be a level of self-awareness. Like you need to know, you, you need to be very honest with yourself and you really need to establish a, a level of self-awareness to say, hey, this is what I look like. This, this is what I actually look like. If, if, if your brand is going to be um, aesthetic, so if your brand is what you look like, then you should know what you look like and you should kind of uh, more or less be aware of, um, of what kinds of people are interested in your look, what kinds of people will be interested in the kind of content that, that you're interested in posting. Um, yeah, and so that, so that there's, this is probably why this, this will last like a good hour because there's so many different kind of ways of, of going about it. So now like when you talk, when you talk about building your own, um, building your social media content, it's not always based on what you look like. Or it's not always based on whether you look good or not. It's not always based on whether you have a nice body or not. Which, like, what is a nice body, right? But, like, but for, for the most part, like, I think we're, we're, we all kind of know, like, when we see a nice body, like, we know, like, oh, my gosh, she has a nice body, right? Or, like, that guy has a nice body or, or whatever. Like, for the most part, you know when you see it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> what is this? Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. So, but like, but like, for the most part, like, you, you can be pretty honest about like, if, if you see someone who has like, who has a nice body, like, you, like you kind of know if, if it's that or not, and you may not know that about yourself, and so um, put some fillers out there and see what people say. If if you if you feel like you know what, like, um, I have like a, I have I have a pretty a pretty flat stomach, or I have like nice boobs, or or I have like like a nice butt. Or like even if even if you're going for like body positivity, then it's like okay, cool. 
Like, like I might not be like super, super thin, or like I might not have like the best body of all time. But like, like, but you have to be honest about about what you look like, about what you have to offer, and then look at um, some people who are being successful who have similar body types. If body type is the thing that you're going for, and if it is what you're going for, you need to be very, very honest about what you look like, and then also you should be honest about the people that you're researching. Do, does your body actually look like theirs? Or are you looking at people who is like, you know what, if I worked out for six weeks, then maybe my body would look like theirs? Or like, you know what, that person's too skinny. My body doesn't look like that. So I, I, I probably should look for girls, uh, for girls or guys who, whose bodies fit actually what my body looks like right now and not some like future version of myself that will ultimately take me God knows how long to achieve. You know what I mean? So, so the, the, there's just a, a, a level of awareness that you should have if you're if you're trying to brand yourself on social media specifically, most specifically, um, by what I look like and what, what my body is like, and like pretty much like the most superficial parts of it. Now, if you um, so, there are pages that are specific to. Girls who are light skin, girls who are dark skin, girls who are curly hair, girls who are curvy, um, girls who are plus size. There, there, there are specific pages that post um, that type of content. So then now go out and do the research. Again, I'm, I'm just sticking to the aesthetic part of it. If you know you have like really big curly hair, then find all the curly hair pages and reach out to them and start and start posting content that is that do, do the research on. Okay, cool. I know I have these things that people that people like. I'm gonna find every page that is specific to that thing that I know people like, and then I'm gonna look at who is posted on those pages, and then what kind of content are they posting on their page? Because they didn't randomly get found out of nowhere. They've probably been posting that content forever, and they're probably regulars on pages like that. And so you need to do the research on people who, who have a similar, um, uh, for, for lack of a better term, a similar gimmick, right? So like, um, so like a bunch of big, uh, a bunch of light skin, curly hair girls, basically, they all get posted on all the same pages and they all know each other and they're all in group chats with each other and they all promote each other and, and there's a the whole thing. A lot of fitness um, people, like who are super fit and they work out all the time, they're in group chats with each other and they get posted on all the same pages and they all know each other and, and that's the whole thing. A lot of body positivity um, people, they, they get posted on all the same pages. Melanin girls, like you know, darker skin girls or, or whatever, they get posted on all the same pages. They're all in the same group chats. They all met each other. They're all messaging all the same you know, accounts. Um, and so, so there's, there's always community there. So don't never feel like you're just kind of doing it on your own. Um, as it pertains to what kind of content you want to post on your page. And this almost, this has very little to do with, uh, with, with modeling. This is just, establishing what do I look like because like the modeling thing will will come one way or another but you need to know what you look like first of all so you can figure out what kind of modeling you want to do or what kind of modeling is gonna make you the most money but it starts with being honest with yourself about saying hey listen I don't have big boobs I shouldn't be trying to be on pages that they have girls who have super huge boobs. You know what I mean? And you shouldn't be judging yourself based on people who, based, based on those models who have big boobs, whether they've been purchased or not. They have them now. And so don't try to start comparing the kind of content that they're posting to the kind of content that, that you should be posting. Because you're, you're ultimately um, not gonna, you're not gonna see the results that, that you're looking for. So figure out what you have, figure out what your thing is. Do you have a really dope like color eyes? Like do you have like this like super cool like gray, gray or blue eyes? And then like also like some freckles or like 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 what is your thing? Just figure out what your thing is. And then and then move on from there. That's the first part of it. I talked for a really, really long time, but the most important thing is having a level of self-awareness where you can look at yourself and then make certain evaluations on like what what are what are things um, about myself that I like about myself, but that also like very clearly 
um, there are whole pages centered around something specific that I that I do have that I can kind of hone into. After that, then it's of learning how to take that content, learning how to shoot that content. And it, it's not always selfies, like every now, like, well not every now and then, a lot of times, it's just a matter of lighting, it's just a matter of like, like for instance, behind me, there's all this like uh, like greenery and all that stuff. Like that's, that's super dope to have in, in like your social media content, as opposed to you just always shooting like in your bedroom or like, Next to a next to a wall or something like that. Like like you might want to change your background a little bit. But the but the main thing is the lighting. It should always be natural lighting. It should always be you should always try to make sure that you have as much sunlight possible. And like for a lot of y'all who know about modeling, like we all know about golden hour, right? So golden hour generally tends to be between like the hours of like five and seven, depending on, on where you live at. So like for me right now it's six thirty. Um so like as it so like in the next thirty minutes you'll start to notice it get like more like bronze behind me or like more more golden behind me because uh, it just so happens that the sun sets right behind my window at a certain time where it's it's really golden right here in this in this particular spot but like you should be aware of like don't just take a picture of yourself anywhere just off the strength that you that you think you look good at at any random time like you should actually put some some focus into it like okay cool where am i at am i getting good lighting what specifically am i showing in this picture is it just a selfie of me and if it is that's fine if just selfies of you is the thing that people like the most but if just selfies of you are not the thing that people like the most then you might want to try to incorporate something else you might want to have somebody else take a picture of you where you're not always just doing it yourself you know what I mean? So like, so so start to get a gauge of like what's getting you the most engagement, what's getting you the most the most likes, what's getting you the most um, the most comments on your post. Um, and again, I haven't even gotten into photo shoots or anything. This is just content that you can take on your own. This is just content that you can take on your own or with like one of your homegirls or whatever. Now, obviously, if you're doing it with, with like one of your homegirls, then you have to reciprocate that. And one of y'all is gonna be the better photographer for sure. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, so, I'll let y'all fight that out, you know, amongst yourselves. But the first step is figuring out what you have to offer. The second step is making sure that you post that more often than not. But you can't just post it where it's super grainy. It's very blurry. The lighting is trash. Like it has to be high quality. But when I say high quality, that doesn't mean it has to be shot by a professional photographer. That doesn't mean that you have to buy a Nikon or a Canon or 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 a Kodak. Like you can use your phone, but just be very, very, very aware of like, what does the lighting look like? What does the light look like? Is it is, is there a lot of natural lighting coming in? And I actually had this conversation with somebody earlier today where they um, they just bought a ring light. So I'm using a ring light right now. Um, and I, like, I have it on, um, I have the settings on very low. So like, for instance, like if I like, it can get, it can get super bright, um, but it blinds me when I'm this close. So I so, saw, you know, I'm not, I'm not interested in, in being that bright. And also, I don't think y'all want to see me that bright either. <laughs> but I know that I have like mad light coming in behind me. And so this this is perfectly fine for for the purposes of, of me just talking to y'all. But if I was trying to take a picture, I, w I, I wouldn't shoot like this because it's not going to come out good. It's going to come out dark. It, it, it'll be too many shadows. And so you always want to make sure that you have um, less shadows than you have highlights. I, but also... You don't want it to be overexposed, where like you can't even see yourself. Um, I think what I would like to do is I would like to use certain people's uh, pages as like a reference, so I can show y'all like, hey, look at this girl's page. Like she knows what she's doing, and she is she not the one that that's, that's shooting her content. Obviously, as well, you can you can use Facetune and you can use Photoshop and you can use this, that, and the third to to work on the on the lighting and all that, but. Um, it's less trouble after the fact when you when you have an idea of how you want it to be shot um, as it's being shot. So you don't have to do so much post production later, as far as like editing and all that stuff, right? Um, so yeah. So again, the first thing is figuring out what your thing is. Whether you have big curly hair, whether you have freckles and like green eyes, or whether you have like a really slim toned body, or whether your body positivity. Figure out what that thing is. And then figure out how to shoot that content. Natural lighting is always, it's always the best. If you're, if you're shooting in your, like in your room at like 9 p.m. with like very little lighting, I'm sure you look good. I'm sure you look fine. But 
that's not gonna uh, land on a curly hair killers page or on like a um, I found Bay page or like any of these like major pages. It's not gonna end up on the Explore page, um, and, it's, and it's, it's likely that it will get a lot less engagement. And the more engagement you get on your posts, um, that's uh, that gives you a higher probability of landing on the Explore page, where then other people will see you. So you don't even, you don't even have to get. Um, posted by like a big major page it helps obviously but like if it's shot well enough and if you get enough of um, just kind of like natural engagement then you'll find yourself in a better position where you can be landed on the explore page but the, the the quality has to be high it has to be high resolution but not shot by um a major camera it can be shot on a phone but just be aware of the lighting because that's what's going to give you all of your all of your pixels. That that's where it's not going to look like it's it's super blurry and grainy, and it was shot at midnight, you know. Um, so so that's so that's that's that. Um, I don't know how long we've been on, but I feel like I got on at like six what six ten. So we've been on for like twenty minutes. Okay, cool. So the next thing about social media content, a lot of people ask me like, um, what are what are agents looking for? So. Two things. I preach left and right about how when you're submitted to agencies, you don't necessarily need to have a portfolio. You, know, you don't really need to have um, like super professional photos. Like, like really all you need is just like basic digitals and, and that's that. But obviously like, like you wouldn't post digital. I mean, you can post digitals on your page, but like that's not gonna be all your content. That's normally gonna be um, you shooting with photographers or you shooting like really, really dope content. Um, for like um for like brand ambassadorship or whatever so like a lot of times probably a lot of the girls that, that y'all follow who are a bit more popular than, than y'all are like you'll see them promoting uh, a tummy tea or y'all see them promoting the the smile the smile stuff that makes your teeth real white or you know whatever um you, you'll generally see them them posting something and every time you see them promoting something it's never just a selfie it's never just like on some day-to-day -day whatever like you can tell that they specifically put some level of focus into, hey, listen, I'm promoting this. I'm, prom I'm promoting something. I'm, pr I'm promoting a brand that is not mine. So I'm gonna shoot something that's not just a selfie. That's not just something that I'm shooting for myself. You should have that mentality every time you post something for your social media. Because at this, at this point, your social media is your, is your portfolio. Right, and so um, a lot of the agents that, that work at Elite and Ford and Wilhelmina and and Next and and all these top agencies, they, a lot of them have been agents for like over a decade, if, like if not two decades. Like a lot of them have been agents for like hell along. So like it's not going to take them much convincing to to uh, to go to your page and then say, oh, uh, I either either like this model or I don't. But uh, you don't make it any any easier for them when you don't post anything that would show them, hey, I model. If you're just posting a whole bunch of random stuff on Instagram, like, by all means, go for it. But if you're trying to model seriously, because you never know who's gonna show up on your page. You never know how they're gonna find your page, who they're gonna find you through, why, why, why they're there in the first place. You, you never know. So if you're gonna post a bunch of just like random stuff, just like you and your friends, or you and your family, or like you you twerking, or you, you doing whatever, make sure you have some other page that is specifically and, and, and purposefully focused towards, the, I'm a model, this is what I do, this is what my goal is, I'm a model. So all you will find on this page, or basically all you will find on this page, is just a bunch of high quality content stuff. Now, every now and then, it could be you you uh, visiting some other state or some other city, you in Miami or LA, and just kind of like some like tourism stuff, or just you you out having a good time, like like you're you're like dressed real nice. It's like one of your best dresses or like one of your best fits. Like like feel free to put that stuff on there for sure. But like, if they first go to your page and it takes them dumb long to scroll to get to like a good image of you, like you you you're not setting yourself up for success. They shouldn't have to scroll dumb long to get to like final oh finally this is what she looks like when she's a model but like it, it was done in 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 march of this year like we're in july now you know what i mean and you don't have to be doing any photo shoots to show that i'm a model because you, you can shoot a plenty of content at home 
but like putting on some of your best outfits, some of your favorite outfits, or ordering some new stuff online, and then and, and showing that you that you're doing brand partnerships, um, or just just shooting right outside the house. You don't have to go anywhere, anywhere exotic or whatever, but where there's like plenty of lighting and where, where it shows, like, yo, I'm putting a specific focus and showing you this is what I look like. This is my body. This is this is this is how how the sun uh, bounces off my skin. And not and and not just you doing random stuff uh, with your friends for like the first three rows of your page. So I posted this or I reposted this yesterday, where a really really good um, buddy of mine who's a fantastic beauty photographer, Jarrell Lee, uh, he 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 posted this and he was like, uh, I should be able to, to go to your page and instantly see at least three to five posts that are making me say, Oh, I would love to shoot her. But if they have to scroll dumb long to get to your best photos. Like, there's a problem there because first of all, everybody's attention span is very short. But especially as scouts, as agents, as bookers, as casting directors, as photographers, as makeup artists, it shouldn't take us forever to get to your your to your best post. First of all, all of your posts should low key be your best post. Now, obviously, that that's not going to be true. Posts will some posts will be better than others, but like. You should, you should make sure that you put a focus on every bit of content that I post on this page should all be fire. Now, whether I, uh, we might disagree on what my best image is, but we won't disagree that every image is fire. And that's the most important thing. So, that, so that's, that's just, just a matter of being aware of what your thing is, being aware of how it's being shot, as far as the the quality of it, and then also just kind of being aware, like, yo, let me step let me step outside of myself. If I was an agent, if I was a photographer, if I, if I was a makeup artist, and I went to my page without scrolling down at all, would I be like, yo, this girl is crazy? I love her. I need to book her right now. Like, like what are your first three rows? What do you what do you have in there? Well, what does it look like? Is it organized to any degree? Or does it look like it was all posted randomly with, with, with no real thought put into, I'm gonna post this, and then I'm gonna post this next, and then I'll post this one third, because it makes sense in this way. Like, does it look like there was even really any effort put into it? Or did it look like you, you just took whatever picture and you posted whatever picture in whatever order? Because all that stuff really matters. Yo, I'm going in right now, Lippy. <laughs> but like, the the reason why I'm going in on it is because first of all like I'm very knowledgeable about this and I've been doing social media for like a long time but like also like I hate whenever I come across models pages that I know for a fact they're so dope for instance I, I've had to book many jobs I, I, I'm booking a job right now actually I'm booking a job right now and so like I'll go to like certain girls pages that I know for a fact they're super fire but then like it takes me forever to scroll to get to, to an image that I actually want to submit to to the booker or the casting director. And I'm like, yo, like I've seen her in person. Like I know she's super fired, but she apparently does not really uh, give a fuck <laughs> about, about like what her page looks like. But, but I think people just don't really don't understand that like, for instance, when I first, not when I first was scouting, but like I've been scouting for five years. So, so for the first like two years, I scouted in a very specific way. For the next like year and a half, or like to, to yeah, like a year and a half, I scouted in a very specific way. And then now we scout in a very specific way. But in, in that middle half though, I would go to, to, um, to photographers pages, I would go to models pages, and I would go look at um, uh, who are their friends, like who are their model friends? Who are they taking pictures with? Um, who are these photographers tagging in their posts, right? And so I would see like, oh shoot, this girl looks beautiful. This girl looks beautiful. This girl looks beautiful. I would go to their page and I'd be like, yo, where's, 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 what's going on? <laughs> like, I, can, I don't see a single, but clearly she's beautiful because I saw her in some other tag post or something like that. But, but, um, but she never put a focus into like, oh, I didn't really consider the fact that people might find me from another photographer or from uh, or from uh, one of my one of my friends who's a model I never considered that that agents like top agents or like major brands might see me on those pages and then come to my page thinking I'm thinking about booking this girl for a job I'm thinking about signing this girl 
and then it takes them dumbass long to, to find a good picture of them, and then it's like, oh, you know what? Never mind, I'm good. Like, you just missed out on God knows what. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because just a, a lack of, of like, forward thinking um, as it pertains to as it pertains to your your want to be a model, but then like there there's um you're you're hitting a roadblock from like wanting to be a model and then like doing the things necessary to be a model now in the year 2020. Because social media is so important now. You know what I mean? And so like I think probably all of us know like beautiful girls, super beautiful girls. But like if, if if you go to her page, like like it might take a minute, like for you to be like, okay, just just give me a second, let me find a good picture of her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I'm pretty sure we've all done that, right? Where it's like, yo, like like I and like even like just like a, a girl that you're interested in, or like or like a dude that like you're like telling one of your homegirls like, yo, I, I just met this dude, like he like he's fine or whatever. But then like you go to his Instagram and it's like, yo, give me a second, give me a second, I'm, I'm gonna find a good picture. You should, it shouldn't be like that as a model. It should immediately be, as soon as I go to the page, it's like, yo, who is this? Without even scrolling. You know what I mean? Um, so, so hopefully that makes sense. I don't want to go like, like too far into it. But, and again, it's, it's, it's not about what you look like. It's not about you being attractive. It's, it's about you showcasing whatever it is that you have about yourself that's super dope. And, and also, it's not just aesthetically. If you're really into fitness, then show all that stuff. I've, I've literally worked with a model. Well, I, so I worked with a girl. When I met her, she had like 1,000 or like 2,000 followers. Um, I helped her build her build her page up. Uh, um, I created a Twitter account for her. I built her up on Twitter. A bunch of people wanted her workout routine because uh, she was one of those um, transformation girls. So, uh, so she used to be like like super skinny and all that before, and then now like she's like, she's still pretty skinny, but like she's like super fit now, and like she has like kind of like like a like a big butt, and so like that's that's her major thing. Like for girls who are like, hey, listen, like like how can I get my my butt more toned, my abs more toned, my back, and my arms, whatever. So I told her you should start selling workout routines, like like workout plans. So we did that. I met her and she had like fifteen hundred or like two thousand followers. Now she has 55,000 followers on Instagram. Just because I was like, yo, like work on your social media, post certain like specific type of content. Now also, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Um, she has like this like really cool like auburn eyes and all that stuff, but like, she, but she never even really shows that because her thing is fitness. So I said, okay, cool. If fitness is your thing, then let's figure out how to get your 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 transformation stuff popping, your fitness stuff popping, and and she she now the only kind of content she posts is the stuff that I told her I was like yo I bet you this will work, and now like her whole thing is popping off, but it's just a matter of figuring out what your thing is, and it's not always it's that I mean it's not always like you looking good, or like you you having bigger boobs or a bigger butt than, than the next girl. It's figuring out what your thing actually is, and then figuring out how to market that, those specific set of things. Uh, 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 in a way that you feel most comfortable. Now, sometimes you might have to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. Uh, so I guess it just depends on like how much you want to push the envelope. I think it depends on on how willing how, how willing you are to do things that maybe you might not have felt comfortable doing before. But maybe that's because you were younger, and maybe you're older now, and you're like, cool. Like I'll I'll um, I'll post pictures in a bikini when before. Before I, you know, I wasn't really down for that, but now it's like whatever. It's a bikini. Like people wear bikinis, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Or just, just like just, just certain stuff. But, but that's a conversation that you generally should have with yourself and figure out what your boundaries are. Uh, and, but figure out how it works best for you, and then just make sure that the content is good. And as long as you you kind of keep that up, um, people will people will follow. At the end of the day, and when people do go to your page for whatever reason they go to your page, it can be any number of reasons why somebody ends up on your page. Because cause I'll go down a rabbit hole half the time, and, and I'll probably land it on, on half of y'all's pages, just going through random people's pages, and then I went from one page, I went to one page from another page, and then to another page from some other random page, and then I ended up on your page, and I messaged you. You know, like, so, so, like, you never really know, but you should always be prepared for that to happen. 
and make sure that your content is set up for if somebody from Elite or Wilhelmina lands on your page, that they can look at your page instantly and be like, yo, who is this? Why, why do we not know about this girl? Like, what's going on? Like, scouts, what's going on? How have y'all not found this girl yet? You know what I mean? But that needs to be the reaction, though. Um, okay, cool. So uh, I want to talk about one more thing. And then I'll, I guess I'll get to questions, right? Because I've been on for about like 35-ish minutes. Um, the last thing is um, engagement is super, super important. So like whenever you're trying to work with brands, especially for like social media influencers, that's like that's like a major, that's like, that's like one of the first questions. So like when I used to manage um, girls who were social media influencers before, like in 2017, um, a major question was what's their engagement? So the engagement basically that they look for the ratio between the amount of likes um, and the, the amount of views and the amount of likes. So for instance, because a lot of stuff like you can pay for, so they want to make sure that you have organic engagement. Organic engagement is is um it, uh, it's basically it's basically calculated by let's say for instance you get a hundred thousand views, a hundred thousand or impressions, depending on if it's a video or if it's a a picture. Um, videos are obviously uh, calculated by views, and then pictures are calculated by impressions, basically. So a hundred thousand people saw your post. But you only got um, 700 likes on it. That tells us that there's something off there. Something's not right there, right? And, and ultimately, um, we as a brand, uh, it doesn't make any sense for us to invest in in someone who gets 100,000 views, 100,000 impressions, or 500,000 views, 500,000 impressions, but, um, but people don't really particularly care to, to engage because the only way that we can make money is that people engage. Does that make sense? Like as a company, people are not buying, people are not buying if they're not engaging. If people are engaging, then that means that we have a higher likelihood to make more money because, because they're always clicking on whatever it is that you're posting. They're always swiping up or they're swiping left or they're, or they're commenting, or they're liking, they're engaging in what it is that you're doing. And so there's a lot of things that you can do uh, as far as like, like your captions um, that can persuade people to engage more on your content, right? So outside of uh, just having dope content, you should also be then persuading people to engage in your content. So, let, so let's say for instance, on my um on the post that we do on the campaigns that we do that says like you know um all aspiring models comment below that's automatically giving people a a um a plan to action like hey i need you i need you to do something i need you to interact with this if this is something that you're interested in right but then also in the caption i say uh, this is what we do as, as, as a business, as a company. This is what we can do for you. This is what we've done, we've done for models before, blah, 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 right? But then I also say, um, uh, to be considered, to even be considered, you have to tag at least two other models. So bam, not only are we getting the engagement from the one person who saw it, but now we're also getting two other people per post who might not have never seen it in the first place. You know what I mean? And so now we're getting, um, if, if not triple the content, we're at least getting two to two and a half times uh, the amount of engagement. And thus, you know, more, more models that, um, uh, that learn about the company, and then thus also more models that actually pay for the service, you know? And that's, and that's, um, that's the goal as an entrepreneur. That's, that's my goal as a person who, owns, who runs the company, that like, I need to, I need to find out ways to get people not only interested in what we're doing, but to actually engage with and in what we're doing. And that applies to anybody who's running a brand. Now the thing is that I run a company, obviously. This is not um, Kier, Kier models all you know uh, worldwide or whatever. This is all models worldwide and, and it's, it's its own brand. I happen to run the company and, and I'll get on here on live and I'll show my face and I'll talk to models and I'll answer questions and stuff. But um, the same premise applies though because you are your own brand. You're always constantly having to sell yourself to somebody. 
because as a model, like that, that's what you're doing. You're, you're supposed to be selling yourself to somebody who, um, who wants to use your services. Your services just happens to be you just being there half the time, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, you, need, you need to be thinking about, every time I post some bit of content, have I given someone a reason to interact with this? Besides me just looking good. Ha like, have I given someone an actual reason to, to support me personally? To, to spend some money on something that I have going on? To show up somewhere that I'm gonna be? Like, have you given them a reason? And, and if you haven't, if it's just, I'm gonna post pictures and I get a bunch of likes just off the strength that, that I look real good, like, congratulations to, to you for looking real good. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm almost positive there's somebody else who's actually thinking that extra step, that extra level, where they're getting a dumbass amount of comments on everything they post, and they show up on the Explore page. And, pe and more people are interacting with them off the strength of being uh, put on the Explore page as well, from people who would have never seen them, people who don't even follow them in the first place, right? And so now they're, they're putting themselves in a position where they have leverage, where they have leverage to make money with brands. So when brands contact you and you have all this engagement, now you can say, hey, listen, this is my rate. And I, I, I'm not working with you for no less than this rate because this is how much I charge because you see how much engagement I get. But not, but not just off of just like your own organic followers. It's because you've been giving them a reason to interact, and that's how they determine how much. That's how uh, much uh, brands determine how much they will pay a model. Whenever they see like, yo, okay, cool. So uh, she has something very specific that that she's promoting to us: big curly hair, whatever color eyes, um, a, a, a melanin, a long torso, long legs, whatever your thing is. She's figured that part of it out. Now, not only has she figured that part of it out, but now she's also posting super high quality content. The lighting is always fantastic. Or she got a ring light popping off, or, or whatever it is. But she's figured out um, how to make sure that every bit of content is always high quality, high resolution content. Perfect. Now, not only that, she's also figured out how to make everybody engage in the content that she's posting on her page. We need somebody like that to be an ambassador or a representative for our brand, right? So, so all those things are super, super important. And like, I haven't even really gotten gotten into like trying to figure out like a theme for your page or like a color scheme. Um, but that's that's a person by person basis. Uh, I think you ultimately kind of have to figure out. Um, or so, so I will say this as far as like a theme goes or like a color scheme for your page. What colors do you generally like to wear? That's the first question. The second question is, um, what, do, uh, what locations do you have available for you to shoot at? And, and once you figure out what locations uh, you can regularly shoot at, unless you can travel to a bunch of different places, but like for the most part, like, like, like you have like, if you have like a dope ass room, like a really super cool aesthetic. Like if your whole room is white, you like your your bed set is white, your walls are white. You got big windows in your room. A lot of natural light is coming in. Then maybe then maybe that's the aesthetic that, that you're gonna have for your page. But if you live somewhere where there's a lot of greenery, like me, like there's like mad trees and shit out here, like then then I, I, may, I might be more inclined to shoot content for somebody out here where they're wearing a bunch of vibrant colors. If you're in a place where it's it's uh, minimalistic, where there's a lot of blacks and grays, then you might want to wear a lot of blacks, whites, grays. So, so that just depends, um, but it, uh, but obviously make sure that like you're always wearing some, like something fire. Um, always make sure that you're posting content content that is true to whatever your your thing is, whatever your your selling point is, or whatever people uh, tend to like the most, uh, and um, and then kind of always have these other things working uh, more or less like in your subconscious as far as like all right, I know what I want to shoot in, in basically all my content. Where, where does this look best shooting at based on what I have available to me or what locations I have available to me? Um, and then where can I get the best lighting? Um, or if you need to have somebody who's like a legit photographer or was like legit photo shoots, then like, then, then get that. If you have access to that. And if you, if you feel like you need, you need to pay for that, then pay for that. But, but make sure that it's like a good photographer who's really gonna get you the content that you seek. Not, don't just pay like wh whoever the fuck, you know. <laughs> for for just because they have a camera doesn't mean that they're gonna give you like the best content, you know. 
Um, so yeah, so so there's that. Um, I feel like I'm gonna run short on time, um, but but hopefully this like ultimately gave y'all like a pretty good sense of like um, understand or have some level of self awareness about what you look like and about what you have to offer. Okay. Um, Figure out how to shoot that content at its highest quality, making sure that you are constantly and always using um, natural lighting uh, to, uh, to, the, to the best of your ability. Um, figuring out um, how to use your captions to get people to, to, um, to interact the most. Whether it be, uh, uh, at first it will start with just organic followers, um, but one thing will ultimately lead to another and you'll find yourself being posted on a bunch of random other pages or whatever But that's because your level of content is so high and the engagement is so high that Instagram's algorithm will ultimately pick up on that um, um, Yeah, and then just and, and also it doesn't always have to be about what you look like it could be about if, if you have a food page or or if you're like super into yoga then you can kind of transition back and forth from from hey, this is what I look like just, just to kind of like get them in there, but then have posts to then promote something that you that you really, really care about. So whether it be yoga or whether it be fitness or whether it be food or whether it be your dog or, or your cat or, or whatever, you know what I mean? So there's, there, there's a lot of different things where it's like, uh, like, like, like if you know you have something specific that people like looking at as far as like you being like very attractive or you having a nice body or, or, or you doing, you're doing a lot of modeling and then throw in something extra where you can start to create your own company or you can start to create your own entity or you can, you can create your own brand. Outside of yourself being your own walking brand, obviously, like you might be able to then kind of, kind of finesse a little bit into, hey, listen, I'm, I appreciate y'all you know, for supporting me as long as y'all have been supporting me, but I'm also doing this as well, so y'all support me, support that too. You know what I mean? So, so again, there's like a million other ways like that, that you can do that, and that's probably going to be like a whole different live chat for a whole other day. Um, but yeah, just just some things to, to think about uh, whenever you're thinking about your social media content, uh, as far as the the quality, as far as having people go to your page and say, "Wow, without me without me scrolling, I can see some of her best content here. I don't have to scroll down and then see like one dope image and then scroll down like." five more rows and they see another dope image and then scroll down seven more rows and see a dope, uh, another dope image. Like treat this as your portfolio. So post all your best, most high quality content. If you wanna post some other stuff, post some other stuff on another page though. But use this as your portfolio because you never know who's gonna end up on your page. It should, it should have some, some, general, some general theme. The color doesn't have to be all the same. Like fuck the color. Like if, 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 you, if you can figure out how to set your page up in such a way, which like generally like blog bloggers are able to do this. Bloggers are generally able to like get like a certain color scheme. Models not so much because like you're gonna be asked to shoot in a bunch of different stuff, and so that's whatever. So as long as the the quality of the content uh, is high, then the colors won't generally matter. Um, but you still should kind of think about. Um, what order you post some stuff, and and there are apps like I know there's a there's a there's a preview app um, that you can download on your phone, and so you can post a bunch of your content and see uh, what it will look like in the order that that you will eventually then post it. I'm pretty sure it's called like preview or like preview app or something like that. It's like a very basic name. It's super easy to find. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, I want to get to some questions because I know I've missed like a million questions, but I'm basically done, I think, like for today. Oh, as a matter of fact, I was, I was supposed to talk to my boy, uh, Smiles Butler, about social media, but like I know he knows like a whole different like area of it because he works with social media influencers. Um, I was like, bro, you know what? I was going to hit you today too, but it was kind of last second because I was supposed to go live with uh, an a, another model. I was supposed to go live with another model, but we, we rescheduled for tomorrow. And so I was like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me just, just go ahead and go live and let me just talk about like the, the modeling aspect of it. Um, but I do want to go live with you uh, so we can talk about like, like a lot of the people that, that you've worked with who are already social media influencers and then like some stuff that like maybe like they should expect or, or whatever. But I can't go live right now with you, bro, because uh, I'm, it's, it's, it's gonna, it, like, I, I'm all, I've, almost, I've almost been on here for an hour already, so I know it's gonna try to cut off on us, like, right in the middle of it. Um, 
or unless you um so what i can do is if y'all want me to go live with with smiles butler i can end this and like save it and then we can start a whole different like hour i just don't want to get cut off in the middle of of uh of our talk that's like the only thing so what do y'all what do y'all want to do or like smiles bro like do, do you do you have time because i can i can end this one I can save it and then we can start like a whole separate one. Are you on the shoot? All right, cool, cool. Um, I'm going live uh, tomorrow and Friday, but we can do it like Saturday or Sunday if you want to, bro. Yeah, cause cause he's gonna he's gonna give y'all like a lot more he's gonna give y'all a lot more information as far as like girls who are already social media influencers and like like how he like helps manage like a lot of their 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 shit. Cause I'm not I'm not. That's not me. <laughs> oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. So uh, let's do a Friday. Let's do a Friday because I I do have Friday. I have a model scheduled on Friday, but we haven't like discussed the time yet. Um, but it is one of the models that I that I um, submitted and got her a bunch of uh, agency offers. So I know that's gonna be a big um, like a, a really really important live. Um, but we haven't discussed the time yet, and I, I think she's still kind of up in the air about it. So. So if anything, if anything, bro, um, I can schedule you for Friday, and then I can have uh, Nicole, uh, the other model, I can book her definitively for a certain time on like Saturday or Sunday or whatever. But I know she's very much up in the air about it right now. So, so if you want to lock Friday in right now, then, then we can do that. And like we can we can talk about like. All the social media stuff, and but but like obviously, like I know I know a bunch of like kind of the like inside stuff. I just never really need to talk about it because most of my followers are not are not really big influencers, so like I don't I don't think they like care <laughs> about it, <laughs> or maybe they do, maybe they do, but um, but I don't have nearly as much information as like as as you would. So okay, cool. Um, okay, so so um, I'm gonna use the rest of my time to answer y'all's questions. Um, if I miss y'all's questions, just just ask it again. Um, but I will try to scroll up real quick and then just like try to answer uh, whatever I can. But hopefully this was like this was good information for y'all because I know a lot of times I can just kind of like rant and go off on like a whole thing. Um, but that was about as much information as I as I feel like I can really give to somebody who's new to it, who's just barely thinking about the like psychology behind. Um, posting certain content, why you oppose, why you oppose this picture over another kind of picture, yeah. So uh, I, I can talk about it more, but I'm sure I probably will in another video. Um, but yeah, that was that was like the best like hour that I could give y'all. But I do want to answer questions before Instagram makes me get off of here. Uh, the best hashtags? Oh, that's easy. I, I can say the best hashtags. The best hashtags to use is W L Y G. So it stands for we love your jeans. That is, that's Wilhelmina's, uh, I, I have to think for a second. That's Wilhelmina's hashtag. So you can use W-L-Y-G, it stands for we love your jeans. And also you can use the full, the full, um, like uh, you can use it spelled out. So you can actually spell out we love your jeans. Jeans being G-E-N-E-S, like your genetics. Um, or you can use uh, the shorter version of it, the acronym W L Y G. Also, you can use I M, um, like so. I M G, the agency. Y'all all know I M G, basically, right? I M G models hashtag is W L Y G. Okay, so so uh, I M G has two of them. So they have W L Y G, and then they also have oh yeah, um, Wilhelmina is Willie Scouts. That's, that's my bad. That's my bad. I M G's is Willie Scouts. So it's W I L L Y Scouts. But uh, IMG has two. They have W L Y G, and then they also have I M Get Scouted. So it's I M G. It's the first three letters, but it's I M Get Scouted. That's also one of their hashtags as well. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm running blank right now. I, I, know, I know a whole bunch of them. So so how about this? Just so I don't draw draw a blank right now. Um, I have a, I, I have a whole bunch of them saved somewhere in like a, like a folder or something. So what I'll do is I'll probably, oh, you know what? I'll post it on my page, like on the page. I'll probably post it tomorrow, like all the hashtags um, that y'all can use whenever y'all are posting. 
I think that'll probably be best, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll put a whole bunch of them. I have them all in a, in a file somewhere. Dang, uh, I have to remember why I have it. I don't remember. But it, it, it's, saved, it's saved somewhere in like, my, like one of my Google Drive files or something. So, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm going to look through that. I'm going to look through that. And then um, I, I'll post it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll post it tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, so there, there's a whole bunch of hashtags that, that, that you can use. But, uh, but W-L-Y-G, um, Willie Scouts, I Am Get Scouted. Uh, those are three just off the top of my head, or four, I guess, technically, that I know for a fact. Really, really good. Um, a really, really good uh, hashtags to use for modeling. And also, just, like, whatever your location is. So, like, where are you from? Or, like, it, it, um, if you live in a major city, or if you live near a major city, or in a major state, like, uh, like Florida, Texas, um, California, or New York, then you can use, like, um, LA model, or LA models, plural. I use both, just in case. Um, you can use freelance model, you can use aspiring model, you can use, um, you can just use just straight up scout me. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a whole bunch, but generally like your, your location and then model is, is always a good one. That's always a good one. Um, but yeah, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch and I'll probably make a post about it tomorrow. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna remember all of it right now, obviously. <clears throat> uh, okay, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. So I do wanna scroll up a little bit. Cause I know I missed probably a bunch of questions. They might not even be on right now, probably, right? I don't, I don't know. But you know what? You know what? Just just post your questions now if you're still on. So if, if I missed it, cause like it, I don't want to scroll right now and then they're not even on. So I can't like give them an answer, you know. <clears throat> All right. So Chrissy, what's up, Chrissy? We love you. Um, do you think I could still post some dancing uh, shoots or are agents not so interested? Agents are always going to be more interested in a model that has multiple things to offer. So you can dance, but like you legitimately do ballet. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you had some of your like ballet friends messages like recently. Cause I, I just had like three models from, from Hong Kong specifically message us saying that they, that they all did ballet. And I was like, oh, that has to be Chrissy. <laughs> like, 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 who else could that possibly have been? <laughs> um, if you can sing, if you can, uh, 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 if you're, if you can paint, if you're good at art, if you do music, anything, if you have any, some type of skill set outside of just you looking good, um, agents are always more interested in that because, um, because more often than not, they're going to be, uh, it's going to be easier for y'all to book commercial work than it would to book fashion, but commercial work, um, generally, uh, tends to tends to come from models who are a bit shorter or girls who just generally have a more um, like a softer look um, and don't ask me to explain what a soft look is because I'm, I'm not going to explain that today <laughs> that's a, a whole different thing um, but but also models who have skills in, in other kind of things uh, so you can do a lot more acting jobs and then, uh, and then you'll find yourself in, in a movie, like you're a model, but like you might find yourself like in a movie because you can play an instrument or, or because you have some kind of acting experience or, or whatever. Um, so, so, so any like other extra skills or hobbies that, that you have that you're proficient in, um, like you would always want to let agents know that for sure, for sure. Um, you said my hashtags are not reaching. First of all, Giovanna, love you. Um, I know we, we, we did your comp cards. We submitted you to agents. I think one agent messaged us back from LA, and I'm pretty sure we told you about that. But I don't know what happened, what what, what came from that. So, like, let me know what that what the end result of that was. Um, but yeah, so uh, your hashtag is not reaching as many people uh, anymore. Um, the the Instagram algorithm is always changing. Whatever was in a, a month ago is not in anymore. It just kind of depends, and also it depends on the content that you're posting. If you're not posting nearly as as, as high quality content as you were before, um, then then the hashtags won't matter because the the the, the content the content it's, itself needs to be high. You can't just post whatever and then and then think that you that because you're posting certain hashtags that you're you're gonna be seen by millions of people. Like the content needs to be good, and then Instagram will will ultimately figure out um, which posts to promote more. 
based on the amount of people are saying, oh my God, we love this post, you know. Uh, so so the the hashtags help, but the engagement the, the, the engagement is what is what carries it. So people need to be actively saying, oh my God, I love this, or sending you hard eyes on your pictures or whatever. So, yeah. I'm losing, I'm losing daylight here. I'm gonna have to turn this up a little bit. Uh, you didn't hear about that? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not really something that like gets promoted. Really, I think it's just something that you, like you have to know somebody that knows it. I guess, which you know, I know it. So, and you know me. <laughs> so, so yeah. But it, it's not something that just like casually gets talked about. You just have to know people who are who are invested in social media or people who are social media influencers. Um, yeah. Uh, can you get scouted without having content shot by a photographer? How common, uncommon is that? Um, you can get scouted without having content shot by a photographer, um, but it depends on what kind of content it is. So, like I was saying earlier, you can have fire content that was just shot from your phone. As a matter of fact, well, I don't even know. Never mind, because I, I don't. I don't know if I can if I can say this person's name or not. <laughs> But it's like somebody who's like very popular and, and they're like, they're verified. Um, but like, I've known them for like a really, really long time. And um, I shot I shot some content for them when they visited LA like a year ago or something. But yeah, she's like very, very popular. And, and I shot content for her. And um, and that was just off my, like, I think I had an Android. I didn't even have an iPhone yet at the time. I think I was still rocking like the Android Galaxy S8 or something like I don't know like hell long ago <laughs> and um, I shot content for her outside and that and that that post did like crazy numbers for her but also like I kind of know what I'm looking for just because I've been doing it for such a long time like you know um, but yeah like it doesn't have to be, like you don't need professional shots um, but but you should you should just be aware of, uh, of, of how it should be shot and not necessarily what you're shooting it with now, every now and then, like, if you have, like, a really dope camera, that, that can that can compensate for not knowing how to shoot really dope content. But at, at the end of the day, like, you need to know how your content should be shot. And it, it doesn't always matter what it's being shot with. Um, okay, so I only have a minute and a half, which is exactly why I told I told my mans not to, uh, not to come in. Because I knew I was, I was going to get axed. But I only have a minute and a half left, so yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm done for today. I have two lives tomorrow and then a live on Friday. So y'all just stay focused and uh, and uh, stay up to date and keep supporting all models worldwide. If y'all have questions, just DM us or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'll be on for like the next hour or something. Um, just like in the DMs. But yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Hopefully I, uh, I did a pretty good job of answering questions about social media. And if I didn't, I'll probably do another one. So, so yeah, I'm out of here. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah, I really, really appreciate y'all. And yeah, I'm out of here. Bye, guys.